An in-depth review of atmospheric mercury, sources, transformations, and potential sinks. An invited paper authored by Jeffrey S. Gaffney and Nancy A. Marley. Mercury is a toxic heavy metal that is found naturally throughout the global environment. As seen in the first figure, during the last 100 years, there has been a 70% rise in atmospheric mercury levels over the natural background measured prior to industrialization due to anthropogenic emissions. This increase in mercury levels represents a global threat to health of ecosystems and humans worldwide. Atmospheric mercury chemistry is complex and its sources and sinks involve equilibrium interactions between the atmosphere, the hydrosphere, and the geosphere. As part of this in-depth review, the relative contributions of estimated mercury to the atmosphere are assessed. The natural contributions are indicated in the next figure, showing the significance of oceans and volcanic emissions as natural sources. The relative contributions to the, anthrop to the atmosphere from current anthropogenic sources have also been evaluated and can be seen in this next figure. The artisanal gold mining and combustion of coal as well as conventional mining and smelter operation account for much of these emissions. Once these emissions are released, the equilibrium processes in the environment lead to a redistribution to various land masses that act as sources, as noted in the next figure indicating the estimated atmospheric contributions from historic anthropogenic sources. This review outlines the fundamental chemistry of mercury in gas, aqueous, and solid faces, including inorganic, organic, and complex mercury species. An understanding of this chemistry is important to realization of the cycling between the various elemental compartments as it affects atmospheric loadings. Table 1 shown here indicates some of the fundamental properties that are reviewed for mercury and some of its better known compounds and complexes. As well, many of these reactions can also occur in the atmosphere in heterogeneous gas, cloud, and aerosol interactions. As part of this review, known gas phase reactions are examined with recommended rate constants and estimated lifetimes as shown in this figure. This currently accepted reactions in aqueous phase are also detailed with particular emphasis given to the reactions where mercury can undergo redox chemistry. This redox chemistry can be reversed, thus allowing mercury to be recycled throughout the various geological compartments. The sources and fate of mercury in the atmosphere, including the cycling of mercury through soil and water as it impacts atmospheric loadings, are examined, and their uncertainties in understanding of mercury in the atmosphere are discussed, along with the recommendations for future studies that include both homogeneous and heterogeneous reactions of the various mercury species. One of the major key reactions that this review suggests needs further examination is the reaction of hydrogen peroxide in aqueous systems in the atmosphere. That includes in cloud and on wet aerosol surfaces. Atmospheric scientists are now finding significant amounts of water-soluble organic compounds such as the so-called humic-like substances or HULIS that contain carboxylic groups and are likely to actively and strongly complex oxidized mercury and rain in wet aerosols, thus leading to increased wet deposition. And this is the second major area where there is need for improvements in modeling and the development of better experimental methods to determine the forms of mercury, particularly in complex forms, in aqueous and particulate species. We believe this is a timely review of an important element in its chemistry as it relates to the atmosphere and hope that it serves to guide the modeling and experimental community to develop a very fundamental understanding of the complex equilibrium that lead to atmospheric loadings in the atmosphere.